Hello and welcome to how to secure your Kali Linux machine. If you haven't seen my last video, we just run through the installation process of kind of getting Kali Linux up and running on your Windows machine in some virtual machine software. So yeah, um, I've also written a blog about this, so please check it out. I will link this in the description. You can just copy these commands into your machine and do everything you need to do, change the passwords, SSH keys, updates, upgrades, etc. Um, don't worry too much about what these commands actually kind of do or what they mean at the minute. It's just kind of um, needed to be done just before we kind of start playing around too much. So yeah, in my next video, I will kind of be going over the commands and what to do and all the kind of command lists I'll also give you guys some more information on how to find things etc etc but yeah for this video let's just worry about getting your machine nice and secure so if you open your machine um, and if you've logged in with just the default credentials of Kali Kali um, you will need to change the password because all the machines come with that default login which isn't very secure for us so let's just make sure this is big enough. Yep, that's okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to switch into our admin root user. So default password is going to be Kali. Let's clear that off. Okay. So as you can see, this is turned to red. It was blue before. Um, we know we're sitting in our root user because it says root. So we're going to need to change this password. We do that with pass wd and we'll just put root at the end. Not needed for this, but I'm just doing that anyway. It makes no difference. Okay, change the password. Pick something secure. Okay, password updated successfully. Now we're going to change our Kali password. Pick something secure. There we go. Password updated successfully. Now that's done. Um, our passwords have been changed. Please pick something secure. Um, next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change our SSH keys so to do this you need to navigate into this directory um, it's an Etsy folder and then the SSH directory from there so we know we're sitting there now and if I just did a ls command which lists these are our SSH keys these are the default SSH keys the machine comes with um, it's like a default password in a sense so we need to get them changed so to get this change we're gonna first make a directory we do this by mkdir and let's call it uh, old keys yeah we'll call it old keys and if we just do another list command you can see in blue right there we've just made that okay so once we've made that we need to basically move all these keys into here so to do that we use this command which is mv SSH host dash and then we'll just do old keys there we go so this is kind of like a wildcard so it just moves anything with SSH host which is all of these um, anything that starts with this basically it's going to put it into our old keys folder so if we just press enter we list again as you can see all these are gone and if we were to navigate into this folder they'd all be there let's just do that just for proof of concept ls okay so i can also show you guys how that's kind of worked by if you go into uh, open folder file system let's see scroll down to SSH there we go SSH you can see that we've got that there and these are all our old keys okay so as you can see that would have been a lot longer to navigate that way while using the command line is just so much quicker and more efficient so let's just clear that off for now um, now we need to basically generate some new keys um, so we do this by using this command DPK, dpkg sorry reconfigure open ssh dash server okay we leave that to it oh it's done okay so now we've generated those keys um let's just clear that off 
list as you can see we've got some oh no actually tell a lie let's go back one directory yeah sorry there we go so we've got these keys now how do we know they're different we need to check so to check the SSH keys are different we'll use this command md5 sum SSH underscore host underscore asterisk there we go so we've listed our new keys okay so we're going to navigate back into our old keys folder and now we're in here we'll just use md5 sum dash there we go dash asterisk sorry so as you can see the keys are different i normally just look at the kind of one line in them just to kind of compare um or the beginning there and as you can see it's different so yeah we've generated some new keys we know that's nice and secure um so we can clear all this off let's just navigate back into our home directory um go back into cali less yeah we're good here okay let's clear this off um you didn't really need to do that you can do the next bit from wherever you are but yeah i just like to sit in kind of like a poem slash cali directory um so yeah the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to run a command called apt get update this is a command that you need to kind of run regularly just to kind of update your packages and make sure everything's up to date um, any new vulnerabilities would be kind of patched and you'd get those patches through these updates so it's quite quick because we haven't got a lot of packages at the minute because we're a fresh install but we're going to run another command app get upgrade now this will start pulling off some new packages from online and everything will be upgraded this will kind of take a while on your first install so just bear that in mind um, we put the dash y in there just to kind of automatically accept and say yes to the upgrade um, so yeah I'll be back when this is done I've just been prompted to this question. Uh, I was just going to show you guys. I'd normally select no because I like to manually kind of restart. But yeah, if you want to do it automatically, just select yeah. Um, confirm was so restricted. Update. Okay. Okay. Now that is done let's just clear all this off our next command is uh, apt get this dash upgrade dash y there we go this one also might take a while so I'll be back when this one's also finished okay now that that is done let's just clear that off okay the last few commands um, these might not do too much right now yeah um, it's just app get clean, app get auto clean. Uh, nothing really there. And app get auto remove. Oh yeah, actually, there we go. All right, so this will just kind of remove any packages that are like dependencies that are basically just installed to get other packages working, but we don't necessarily need them right now. So it just frees up some space. These commands are kind of more necessary later on but it's just good to know them now as part of our securing process so yeah that is it you can also try running an app get update just to see if anything else can be updated now that we've upgraded all our packages and it looks like there is so this will take a while so let's just wait till this is finished and i will get back to you guys yeah that's done okay so that's it really now our machine's secure it's up to date we've changed our ssh keys and our password um everything will be ready just to do some navigating around playing around you can start exploring stuff a little bit more freely so yeah stay tuned for my next video where we are going to be learning all the basic commands and navigating around kali linux and i will show you how to get some information to kind of help you further learn the linux commands and the command line the terminal might do a little bit of bash scripting python but yeah we'll 
have a little mess around so yeah if you've enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for my next one peace guys